In this video, I'll be showing you how I dust film scans. So let's get into it. For removing most of these pieces of dust and hairs, I'm using the heel tool and I have the, I have the type set to proximity match. That's the least noticeable way to remove these little dusts. When you hit these, you almost can't even tell that there was anything there before. It does a really good job of making a clean removal of the little dust specks. Content Aware is the default setting and it works pretty well, but in certain places like here, you can see there's a kind of a funny line where it's soft. Hard to see it here and you wouldn't see it zoomed out, but it does leave a soft spot there. So if I control Z, you can see right there. That's where that was at. But if we do the proximity match, it's a lot cleaner and we probably won't even be able to tell. Yeah, can't even tell that that's where that hair was. It leaves the grain, it doesn't smooth anything out. So for most of this, I'm using the proximity match. And there's not much to this. It's pretty simple. You just start at one part of your image and just work through and click and remove all the little dust specks. You can do as much or as little as you like. I'm particular and like to have these edits super clean. So I'll go through and remove all these dusts. I'll speed this up so it's a little quicker. And then as we come along to the little notes, I'll jump back in and provide some insight where needed. On bigger hairs like this, I'll hit the L key for the lasso tool and just go around. Doesn't need to be perfect. Hit the delete key and content aware comes up. Or if you want to, oh nope, you only have the choice for content aware. This works pretty well. 95% of the time, hit the return key or OK, and it will remove that. And you hit Control D to deselect, and you can't even tell that thing was there. So that does a really good job on hairs. And sometimes I'll use it on these little bit bigger dust specks, or sometimes they're just weird imperfections in the film. Same thing, just select, hit the delete key. Just make sure content aware is the selected option, and then hit the enter key, and boom, it's gone. Control D to deselect and you can move right along. And I forgot to mention earlier, the shortcut for the heel tool in Photoshop is the J key. I also wanted to make a note that zooming in and making all these little corrections can be labor intensive on your computer. On the previous computer I had, if I didn't save frequently, Photoshop would crash and I'd have to start over. So to get around that, I would do one pass, which is from where we started to here. Hit Control S to save. Once you've done that, you're good to go. You can keep moving. This particular computer doesn't have that issue, but it's just a habit that I have. It doesn't hurt. Just a quick tip there. Looks like we found Billy Corgan here. He was uh, being sneaky in the background there. So funny enough, earlier in the video, I was talking about how my old laptop would crash from time to time and I didn't have a problem on the current laptop. This is the first time it's crashed and 
everything was saved here because I was going through and periodically saving. I was able to get all the dusting done, but Photoshop froze up and I had to. <laughs> I had to I had to close what the project I was working on and I'll reopen it here. So this is our TIFF file from Photoshop. This is the original file here. Give it a second for it to load. And this is the edited version that's been dusted. I'm gonna open it back in. Photoshop just so I can finish this. So to pick up where we left off, the dusting is done. I just like to go around and check the film borders to make sure there's nothing that needs to be removed sometimes. There's a few little pieces here and there that get missed. So I'm just gonna check those quickly. That should be good, and then it's also good just to do a quick re, a quick run through, just to make sure. There's Billy Corgan again, just to make sure didn't miss any big stuff. And these sensors on the front of the car, when it just is zoomed out, they almost look like little dust specks. But you can actually see the one on the on the right pretty well, so I'm just gonna leave those alone. Everything else looks good, but it's it's good just to double check, go through. Make sure there's no glaring issues and this looks fine. The only other thing I'll do to this photo here is just clean up the edge. Get rid of the H here on the Pro 400H since it's cut off. This is easy to do. Hit the L key for the lasso tool and then just draw around the part you want to remove. If you drag the mouse over the picture, when you let go of the mouse, it'll just snap to the edge of the picture. And same as before, hit the delete key. Content wear box comes up box comes up with content aware hit the return key and this time it's not super clean so what we'll do is hit Control z bring that back and then i'll hit the s key to bring up the clone stamp tool and i'm going to make the oh my little trackpad's not working what the heck so we'll come up here to adjust the size go a little bit larger here that should be good. Hold the alt key and this little funky symbol comes up and just click somewhere on the image that matches this here. And then we'll just click and drag. Click and drag. Click and drag. Oh, control Z, I have to readjust this here. Click and drag. And then if we hold, hit command delete, we should be good. And then go back to the heel tool and just clean up that edge real quick and bam that's all cleaned up looks nice and sharp that's it pretty simple to dust photos it does take a little bit of time to go through and do all that but well worth the time spent to remove all little dust and hairs unless that's what you like that's totally fine you can leave them in there i prefer to remove them to me it cleans up the image a little bit makes it look a little bit more professional a little bit nicer thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video